kinds of content to do with scootering so if you like scootering please subscribe and like the video now let's get into today's video I picked up a new set of wheels that I want to try out and the I picked these up at the Grove skate shop and these are the oath component stalker wheels they come 115 by 28 millimeters wide and the durometer on them is 88 I believe these wheels come in four different colors. You got the black on chrome or silver that I have here. You got black on gold, black on black, and black on neochrome or oil dip or whatever you want to call what neochrome is. So there's a few colors in there for everybody. Um, they're pretty basic colors, but you know they they, they look pretty good. And I kind of wanted to try the black on chrome ones. Um, the Grove Skate Shop did have these wheels. Um, he had the black on gold ones and the black on black ones. So if you live in the Southeast Idaho area and you're looking for some oath components or triad um, parts, um, if you didn't know, those are two partner brands. But I figured that we would go out and give these a test. Um, I took these off for this video. Um, I kind of messed around on them just a slight bit inside the shop, which is why in the B-roll clips you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a scuff on the urethane. They are technically a hollow core, so they are a little bit lighter um, than I guess a regular wheel would be, so it's not, you know, the rim doesn't go all the way through. And something that I find really weird about it is um, you look at the urethane and they're very, um, they're very flat looking wheels, so I'm kind of curious to see how these are going to wear over time since they're, you know, already squared out, like out of the box. I don't know exactly why that they went with that design, but like I said, I'll test it out over time and see how they wear and performance of it afterwards. Now, a lot of people have probably been confused if you have looked into these wheels or found them on the 28 millimeter wide, uh, rim or with the wheel so 28 millimeters is the width of the wheel and the rim so if you want these to fit perfectly you're going to have to run um, a triad deck with um, their dropout spacers or their deck spacers that can run 28 millimeter wide wheels or the, the 28 millimeter wide spacers on them um, i do have oath or triad forks so i can run them on the front but you do have to um, add a little small spacer on the back for any other deck, which doesn't really mess it up at all. You just have to find something that will work with it. So you have to have a deck that is 30 millimeter wide compatible. We'll throw these bad boys on and we'll go out to a skate park and see how they ride. Now I'm going to be riding the purple deck that I've been riding for a long time because I have a fun video that I still need to finish filming with the black deck that I have. So look out in the future for that video. Thank <laughs> you. 
because I'm wearing different clothes because today is tomorrow. But let's get into talking about these here wheels. So I didn't get to ride them for very long just because it got dark. Today looks uh, snowy and rainy. So, um, but I think I rode them for long enough to know kind of how they feel and all that. First off, I'm going to go ahead and weigh them because I did forget to do that. Okay, so they weigh in at one pound, 2.7 ounces. So that's not bad. Pretty light wheel for the size that you get. I guess performance of these wheels. Well, we'll go ahead and talk about the pros and then the cons. So the pros. I like the way that the, um, I guess the diameter feels on these because they really just feel like a 110 wheel that has a little bit better clearance than a 110 wheel. So I don't really notice like a big difference um, height wise. Like if you've ever ridden 120s out there and you, you're, you can definitely feel a big difference between like how high your scooter sits off the ground. Since this is like right in between, I don't really notice a big difference. Um, um, they're a lot faster than 110s and I was thinking that turning sharp corners and stuff like that was gonna make them kind of wash out because if you've ever ridden wheels that like get squared out and you have that real sharp edge on the, sh on the side, it, you carve around like a bowl or something like that and like you're just riding on like the the edge of that squared out urethane and you don't have as much grip. So I kind of thought that that's how these were going to be. Um, I think with it being a wider wheel, I think it kind of grips a lot better. And talking about grip, these wheels have like a crazy amount of grip on them. Like I didn't slide out once on anything like that. And I want to say it's probably because it's more of a flat surfaced wheel. It's not as pointed. I would say that this is a great park wheel out there. Um, if you're a park rider and you want a lot more grip, this would be a great wheel to go with. Like I was doing like with the half cab manual, I was landing like really sideways on that, like landing in the manual. And it was like, I didn't even feel the wheel slide. It would like grab and like kind of swing me around into like the half cab manual. So. It was, it was weird. Even with like lip slides, like I did the, the Wally to front lip on the leg, uh, it didn't even want to grab, like, it didn't even want to slide across the wax that was on top of the ledge just because it's flat on top. Like it's got a lot of grip. One thing that I kind of noticed now, I don't know if it's just me because I haven't really ridden, um, wide wheels in a really long time. Um, I kind of missed 50 fifties and like feebles a lot. It could have been because I'm riding, I was riding my purple deck and it's a little bit different than my black one that I'm riding. So with, when you ride wider wheels, you do kind of get less 50-50 and feeble room just because it's, you know, it's a little bit wider. It's taking up a little bit more room. So I did kind of notice that a little bit and it's not really like a con. It's just something that you got to get used to. It's not like a huge difference. So on to the con. I really have only have one con for this and that is the 28 millimeter wide. Um, I think that is kind of dumb. Just bump it up two millimeters up to 30 and it would be way more compatible with scooters out there. You're not kind of locked into riding. Say you get these and you want it to fit perfectly. You have to either have a triad deck with the appropriate spacers and triad forks with the appropriate spacers that come with them. If you want it to fit, you know, perfectly and fit normal. So that's the only problem that I have with it. Um, I was kind of having a problem with the, it getting loose and like rubbing and stuff like that. So I also don't have the appropriate spacers for it. So, and a lot of people probably don't out there. So if you want to ride these wheels, you do have to have forks and a deck that are compatible with 30 millimeter wide wheels. And then you have to run like a really, really small spacer, um, either on one side or you can, if you can find one that is thin enough, you can run it on both sides to get these to work. If you only run one, which I could only run, it does like offset the wheel just a slight bit. Nothing that I could actually really tell if that is something that is like, if you're OCD about like stuff being like perfect, that might bother you. So all around a 
great, great wheel. I'm going to ride these for a little bit and see how they hold up. There's not a lot of urethane on it. It's very, very flat. So I'm curious to see how it is going to wear. I actually don't know what kind of bearings it comes with. It just says Fidelity Bearings. So I don't know what ABEC these are. If you know what ABEC bearings these are, leave it in the comments for people to know. And yeah, that is my first impressions on the Oath Stalker wheels. If you are looking for these wheels, you can pick them up at the Grove Skate Shop in Blackfoot, Idaho. These do cost uh, $79.95, so 80 bucks for a set of wheels. Uh, a little expensive, but you know, if you're looking for a really, really grippy wheel, something that's fast and something that's not too big or too small, um, these are great wheels. So that is the review. Till the next video, you have a good one.